Johnny Football, obviously of Texas A&M, Johnny Manziel is actually his real name. He had a phenomenal freshman season where he won uh, the Heisman Trophy and he has become this star, star athlete because of the attention that he's gotten. He's taken pictures with LeBron James. You know, he, he's, he's been out on the town with a few other uh, notable celebrities. Larry Fitzgerald is retweeting him. However, there has been a lot of controversy that has come about because he left Peyton and Eli and Archie Manning's camp early. Now, he was supposed to be a counselor. He was there for a little bit, and then the rumor is he got drunk one night. He was hung over. His dad said it was dehydration, which no one is believing. Let's be real about that. And now uh, he is being scrutinized like crazy. I'll read you a few quotes. The spokesman said, after missing and being late for some practice assignments, Johnny explained that he had been feeling ill. Consequently, we agreed that it was in everyone's best interest for him to go home a day early. And then Peyton Manning said this, we always have counselors who leave early. Johnny was great with the campus for the, uh, for the time he was here. He had to leave early. I wish him the best. I want him to come back as a counselor next year, blah, blah, blah. Here are the important points. Peter King from Sports Illustrated. Manziel was spotted at a bar in some place that I can't pronounce early Friday morning, and he was late for one of the Friday coaching sessions. Not good. Uh, no one's sure where he was Friday night, but he was a no-show for a two-hour session Saturday morning. Not good. And the staff had to cover for him. And then he puts in uh, uh, parentheses. Imagine you're a high school sophomore. You're excited about coming to the Manning camp. And as if that's not enough, you walk in for orientation Thursday night and hear Johnny football is going to be your counselor. Woohoo! You're all jacked up. And then you show up Saturday for a two hour workout session with Manziel and he's nowhere to be found. Not good. Uh, obviously, this does not bode well for him becoming an NFL quarterback. Right. We have seen this. Uh, because of the whole Aaron Hernandez ordeal, um, which is a huge ordeal, yeah. now they're taking into attitude issues and all these things. I mean, his stock is what seems like going to plummet if he doesn't shut the fuck up, not go out on the town, stay in, and just play great football. Yeah. I mean, give me, give, me your, give me your take on all this. I think that Johnny has a long career ahead of him, and yeah. he needs to act like it. And I think that what he's doing right now is he's getting excited about you know the the possibilities of what could be and he's just kind of living this lifestyle you know like you know i mean anytime you have kids who have these high expectations and they just really want to see you you know you're supposed to be that counselor i mean how much you know how much effort does that really take you know you're just gonna you're gonna make some kids entire summer maybe their entire life for them to be able to say that they met you you gave them some advice and you're a no-show and here's the thing I understand he's 20 years old, and the pro A&M supporter is going to basically say, oh, he's a kid, he's 20 years old, you know, not guilty, whatever. Here's the thing, it's one weekend. Yeah. You cannot go out for one weekend, right. live up to, it's a commitment. Yeah. It's a responsibility that he had. And from, and from the Manning camp, I mean, these, this, yeah. is, this is NFL, this is football, you know, royalty in a sense. Like these guys are very accomplished. Absolutely. They're very highly respected. And for them to, you know, kind of tip their cap and say, this is somebody who we want affiliated with our name. And then you turn around and do something like that. It's just not a good look for you. So I think that he definitely is going to have a reality check. He's going to have some PR people calling him and talking to him and telling him Probably. he needs to buckle down now. So um, I think that he'll get it together. Hopefully he will, because he has a lot of talent. He has a, a, a long career ahead of him. Some more from Peter King. He said that, you know, look at the Russell Wilsons and, and the Drew Breeses. They're totally undersized for NFL quarterbacks. Yeah. But they're incredibly talented, and Manziel is talented. But they're, he said they're Eagle Scouts. Yeah. I mean, they stay out of trouble mm -hmm. no matter what. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you're Manziel and you're totally undersized, yeah. they're already going to look past you for being undersized. Right. But then, you know, the devil's advocate part of that is for, for an NFL GM and a scout is, well, did you see the football that he played? He has right. an electric arm. He's a great runner. I mean, he, he could be a smaller version of RG3. Maybe some will say no one said that yet. I'm just throwing out examples <laughs> in the near future. I'm not saying that now. But, I mean, it, it's, it's obvious. And Peter King also says this. Manziel, uh, Manziel's already been arrested at A&M once for a 2012 altercation, which, by the way, he uh, pled guilty to. Mm -hmm. He's got a party boy rep, deserved or not. When he's studied by NFL teams, either next offseason or in 2015, they'll dig into all of this stuff and the lack of responsibility, letting down the Manning family, as you indicated, being a no-show for a commitment coaching kids is the kind of red flag every team will ask about. Yeah, so it totally hurts his draft stock. Definitely hurts his draft stock, but he's obviously going to get picked up because he's so talented. And I think that what coaches are going to look at now, they know that he's talented, but 
hard work always beats out the more talented person. Because if the talented person doesn't work hard, then they're just you know relying on their God-given skills, sure. and those diminish after a while. Yeah. So they're gonna look now, is his work ethic, does his work ethic match or exceed his talent? And is this a young man who we can, we can sculpt and we can make him into that you know, upstanding gentleman or you know, a person in society that we need him to be to represent yeah. our team. And if, they, if those two variables are there, then you know, you're gonna have the top team still looking at him regardless. Um, but it's just up to him now. You know, is he gonna do what it takes to you know, get it together or is he going to continue along this path? If so, I don't think he's gonna have a very long career in the NFL. And I'm not saying that he can't turn it around. He, yeah, obvi he obviously can't. Yeah. yeah, he's 20 years old. I mean, if he, if he has another great season like he had, he's gonna go to the draft.